Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 7 or Windows 8 device to Windows 10 through a clean install. That means not going through the little prompt that shows up in the taskbar on all your machines that says upgrade to Windows 10 now, upgrade to Windows 10 now. A lot of people don't like to, to upgrade, although the Windows 10 upgrade experience is probably the best one yet from Microsoft. But if you want to do a clean install, there's a super easy way to do that. Um, and I will show you how that is done. The only thing you need to look for on your computer is that it has a certificate of authentication. And once you have that key, uh, you can actually use that on the latest ISO of Windows 10 to uh, install Windows 10 with, through a clean install without having to you know, verify any sort of Windows 7 other than just having that key. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 10 ISO straight from Microsoft's website. Okay, first thing, you're going to want to go to this address right on Microsoft's website. I'll put the link in the comments. You also want to plug in your thumb drive like I just did. There's my Voyager D drive. And you'll want to use at least an 8 gigabyte drive. Preferably use a USB 3 drive. It's just going to be quicker for you. Once you've downloaded the tool, you want to let it open when done. So it will snap open. And here we go, Windows 10 setup. You can accept the terms if you agree with them. And you're going to choose Create Installation Media for another PC. <clears throat> Here you can select options. If you don't want the default options, you can deselect that option there and choose custom versions of Windows, different languages. If you want, you can do both 32-bit and 64-bit, which might give you a good all-in-one drive, but you don't need that. So you're going to choose USB flash drive. That way it will write the Windows installation onto the drive that you just inserted. And there it is, our uh, Voyager flash drive there. And this will basically go through the steps. And this may take quite a while. It actually downloads the entire Windows 10 installation and then configures it to be put on the USB and then finally writes it to the USB. So this can take a while, but we're going to use the magic of editing and fast forward this. Okay, at this point, your USB flash drive is ready. Uh, be sure to remove it responsibly, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that we have our USB drive created, we'll go ahead and plug it in and load up the computer. And what you're going to do is uh, adjust the boot sequence. Usually that's through some key command. On this computer, it's escape, and then you hit F9 for the boot device option and then you're going to choose your USB drive which is the Windows 10 install drive. So what you're going to want to have ready at this point is your key from the bottom of the computer. It's a good idea to when the computer is off to write that um, code down somewhere else so it's you don't have to be tipping the computer upside down to find it. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Install now. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and enter the Windows 7 product key. Keep in mind this is a Windows 7 product key, not a Windows 10 one, but it should work to get a clean install done. And 
and there we go we get past that and we go through the normal installation process I'm going to do an absolute clean install so I'm going to click custom and I'm going to select all the partitions and delete them if you have not backed up your computer or your files don't do this until you know that everything is off the computer that you may possibly need but I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these and do a completely clean install so delete all the partitions till the only thing you have is unallocated space click next and let Windows install through the normal process And the next test is to make sure that Windows is activated. Okay, so I'm going to connect to the internet so we can let Windows talk to authentication servers and uh, verify the install. So the next step is to once you're booted up and connected to the internet go into all settings go to system and then scroll down to about and then you can scroll down and see what the status is and if you click this little button you can see the activation says Windows 10 Home which made sense because this was a Windows 7 Home Premium device and it says Windows is activated so it went ahead and activated this PC all by itself using that Windows 7 product key so I hope that answers your question about Windows 7 and Windows 8 upgrades and still maintaining a clean install thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to the C Butters Tech channel, and we'll see you later.